All right, so I finally got around to finishing the Wastelanders storyline. Um, I'll be real with you. I really, really, really did enjoy it. It was, it was, it was, um, you know, aside from being overleveled and dealing with some of the updates from the Steel Dawn update in terms of the overbalancing, the, the, the characters, the story, it felt good. It felt like a Fallout game. It did, it did, did all the, it did all the story beat beats and all the story points. Did I get everything? No, simply for the fucking fact that that the game would glitch out or I would die and then I would completely miss like a character interaction with the Raiders or with the with the foundation or whatever it, it, it was a pain in the ass like I would see like a character pop up out of nowhere and I'd basically have to infer what happened based on the dialogue after like things glitched out spoilers uh going forward um wait for it wait for it all right if you haven't shut it off now and you you still want to play it and you haven't played it is what it is you know the fact that i you know like um uh gentleman johnny um basically you know basically killed his his best friend after we just went through the trouble of saving him you know and i had to go through the gauntlet two fucking times because i ran out of ammo the first time like like listen like i didn't know he he killed him until like he said it in the dialogue because the game glitched out you know, the problem is, is that this game, because of its online connectivity, is so much more buggy than a normal Fallout game that it makes the storytelling a lot harder. You know, when you're trying to do scripted events like that, they sometimes bug out and there's nothing you can do. That being said, like, despite all of that, characters are well written, they're enjoyable to talk to, and I like them. Like, I'm just being honest, I do enjoy a lot of the I do enjoy a lot of the characters you know and as far as Fallout games go like this Fallout game feels like there's a lot more hope you know I would not be surprised if in the future and when Bethesda puts out another um, Fallout game I would love to see I would I would basically love to like have a game set in this region three four hundred years in the future just to see like what happened in Appalachia, you know, because the way it sounds is is that humanity and, and civilization, at least here in Appalachia, despite the ruined fucking state it was in in the aftermath of the bombs, you know, it, there, there's mu- I feel much more hope in this game. I feel like there's much more possibility and 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 reason for a future. You know, I feel like. The cat, like, like, play, like the East Coast of Fallout, and this is a wider discussion. Very well, might end up being a much better like situation in comparison to the West. You know, I, I think it'd be interesting to see um, Appalachia and and to a lesser extent the Capital Wasteland over time because because of all the good and and like the 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 the, the um. Um, priority over civiliz- um, civilization. If you sa- if if you side with Foundation, of course, um, I think it'll turn out fairly well. Although, given how a lot of the more interesting characters are on the Raider side, I would not be surprised if the Raider ending is considered the canon ending. But I digress. Um, you can thankfully earn rep on both sides and the. And the um, plans you get for with gold with the gold are fairly interesting too, and I like them. Um, but yeah, um, Wastelanders is pretty fucking was pretty fucking good for a Fallout seventy six story, and so far Steel Dawn is starting to look pretty good too. Um, I did a mechanic a mechanics review is going to be coming out uh, at nine a.m. tomorrow, um, the day after the date this comes out. Um, and, um, um, once we wrap up the, uh, Steel Dawn, uh, Brotherhood story content, I'll do a review on that as well. But until then, I look forward to seeing you guys in the next episode, and thank you so much for listening.